Uh, hi everyone, my name is Vakas and I'm the co-founder and CEO of WonderTree. At WonderTree, what we do is we develop affordable and accessible games using augmented reality to help children of determination with their motor, cognitive and educational skills. By children of determination, um, I we mean you know children with special needs, so children with autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, slow learning uh, uh, challenges and so on. Uh, we use the term uh, uh, um, uh, ch children of determination. Our vision is to make uh, special education and physiotherapy affordable, accessible, and effective for children throughout the world. But before I tell you more about, uh, you know, what we're doing, uh, allow me to tell you a little about, you know, how we started. So it all started with my co-founder, who is also the CTO um, of, of the company. His name is Osman. Osman has an older brother with special needs. And, you know, one day Osman saw how motivated and engaged his uh, older brother was while he was playing his Xbox. So that's, you know, where the idea came from that, you know, use the power of gamification uh, to help uh, children uh, of determination with their education and their physiotherapy and their cognitive development. The challenge that we're addressing is that uh, when we talk about uh, special education or physiotherapy, it's uh, expensive. Uh, it is 10 times uh, more expensive than uh, the development of an able-bodied child. It is ineffective in the sense that majority of the education is either boring or either it's very painful, uh, which uh, makes it harder for the child to, you know, come back to it and progress. And it is in limited supply. So definitely in developing countries like Pakistan, um, uh, the, even India, Bangladesh, uh, 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 in these spaces, but even in developed countries, there is a uh, gap between the demand and the supply. <clears throat> So here's the solution that we have come up with. We have taken these um, uh, physiotherapy and cognitive development games uh, for, uh, for children, uh, and then we have gamified them using augmented reality. And apart from the games, the teacher or the parent also gets to see the progress reports so that they know how well the child is progressing. So through the solution, we're making, uh, you know, again, special education affordable, engaging, and, and effective. Um, the reason why this is affordable is because, number one, we have a geographic-based pricing. And uh, even, even in all of the geographies, um, our solution is 80% cheaper than the conventional methods uh, that, that are being used for physiotherapy, for education. It is accessible, and this is one of our main key strengths, because, number one, we're using a web-based platform. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to uh, install anything. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, anything. And uh, the way we're doing it is that we're using the webcam for body detection, and we're using AI. I would love to get into it. You know, if somebody asks me a question. Uh, so there is no hardware requirement. The age limits are from 4 to 14. And since it is a web-based platform, it has potential for global usage. It is, it is effective because, you know, games have been there. There are universal case studies proving that games uh, um, uh, help in engagement and in attention retention. It, uh, and, uh, you know, we also have researchers backing this up. These are some of the researches that we have done. We have already published two in international medical journals. We are collaborating with other uh, bodies to publish more researches to prove the credibility uh, of uh, WonderTree. Uh, this is our amazing team. Uh, each individual is super passionate about it. We are a mixture of AI developers, game developers, designers, psychologists uh, that work together. Uh, these are some of our strategic alliances. We'll not uh, spend too much time on it. These are some of our awards and uh, honors that we have received. Total In total, we have been able to impact 15,500 children. So far, we have 2,200 currently uh, monthly active users. We are in 35 institutions. And currently, we're only targeting Pakistan, but we plan to expand into USA and UAE. We're already in talks to a couple of government bodies and a couple of private institutions in these uh, two regions. Um, here is our quick um, competitive uh, map. Um, won't go into detail i don't i don't think i have much time uh, but uh, one of our biggest competitors is mind uh, which is a swiss uh, company uh, and they they're a unicorn they're valued over a billion dollars <clears throat> 
the addressable market size, although this is a niche market, but the addressable market size in Europe uh, is $10.5 billion, $10 billion a year. And uh, in the B2B, uh, B2C segment and in the B2C, uh, B2B segment, it's uh, $3.5 billion a year. Uh, the ask, we're looking to raise a million dollars, uh, out of which $500,000 have already been, already been committed by the Lego Foundation. And this is going to be used to expand our product. In the, We are already doing B2B, but we will expand it into B2C as well. Uh, we will be targeting parents and we will be expanding outside of Pakistan into USA and UAE. And these are some of the ways that we, we plan on doing it. Uh, Thank you very much for listening and happy to answer any questions and take this further. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mamad. Uh, love how you involve AR and uh, bring the two worlds together. Any question from the audience? Okay. Then maybe briefly from mine, how do you see like um, end users or like kids being ready and um, able to understand how AR works? Are they just like quick learners like with so many other things? So uh, th uh, that's a very interesting question. So what we do is that, you know, uh, the development process of these games is very uh, sensitive and very, uh, you can say, in-depth. Uh, we ha actually have an ad external advisory board that, you know, advises us on how these games need to be made. Uh, so we make sure that these games are simple enough uh, uh, that, you know, a child can understand uh, and play these games and have fun while playing. But at the same time, their, you know, critical development uh, is being developed. And then we have had several, you know, case studies where uh, these games have been played by children with all types of, uh, you know, special needs and challenges. And they have uh, you know, uh, like really benefited from these games. So we have a lot of case studies and then we have researches as well. And then, you know, our games also tell us that the child is improving while they play the game. 